Salamat po. Friendly sit down. Thank you for your courtesy. May problema ako. Kasi ang balita ko sa Supreme Court, ready na daw yung decision sa co-waranto. At uh, I'm also due for ouster. Kagaya ni, yung pinayal ni Pamatong. Uh, ano ba, uwi na ako sa amin. I would be happy to step down. The Senate President, Vicente Soto, House Speaker, Pantaleon Alvarez, Executive Secretary, Salvador Midaldia, the other members of the Cabinet, Senators Richard Gordon, Juan Miguel Subiri, the Honorable Members of the House of Representatives, Carlo Nograres and Ray Umali. Wala man lagi sila. Tawagin mo sila, sabihin mo na tiyatawag sila dito. The 2018 Legacy of Excellence Awardees, officials and employees of the Office of the Solicitor General, mga kasamahan ko sa gobyerno, mga kababayan. It is a great honor for me to join the men and women of the Office of the Solicitor General in commemorating your 117th anniversary. This is a celebration not only for your accomplishments as the government's primary legal defender, but also for your unwavering commitment to uphold the rule of law and protect our people's interests. Sa totoo lang, let me veer away from the prepared speech. Yung ginawa mo, Joe, was in novel one. And uh, in the hindsight, ako doga plano, ako lahat. Ngayon man si Joe, buhay pa man yan, Joe, sabihin mo ang totoo. Hindi talaga ako nakialam sa tabaho ni Solistor Kalida. Never interfered. As a matter of fact, they are here. Nandiyan si Bebot, yung si Justice Secretary. Nandiyan si Senators. Dito si Tito. For the life of me, since I started to work in the Pasig, wala akong tinawagan na tao. Not even a single, well, of course, about politics. Tinatawagan ko si Soto, pati si Alvarez. When we talk of PDP, but for the life of me, I'm telling you the truth, we never discussed any legal matter involving government with others. Wala talaga, sa totoo lang. And to tell you frankly, walang transaction sa gobyerno na papel. Either mga reclamation or mga bridges or MRT, LRT or whatever, those papers do not reach my table either in the office or yung sa bahay na tinitirahan ko. Kasi ayaw ko talaga. Hindi ako nakikialam on any project, any contract, any financial whatever, either for or against government, it starts and ends with the cabinet member concerned. I have not talked, I have not even called, not the military, wala akong tinatawagan. Only those occasions, kung may command conference, nililista ko lahat yan. And if the time comes when I get to meet them, and that is the time they uh, uh, talk about it openly sa lahat ng member, whoever it is, either a cabinet meeting or a command conference, or whatever conference there is to attend to. I never, never discuss any, with anybody any transaction of government, either for or against. 
Yan kay Sirino, sinabi ko na, kaya ako nagalit. Sinasabi ko na sa iyo na hindi ako nakikalam. I mean, I was a politician, I was mayor. I was a victim of so many. Sabihin ko na lang na yung kalaban ko si Speaker Nuglares. Tignan niyo yung record. About three cases na dumating. Hindi lang ano, acquitted talaga ako na dismissed for what? And to think that when he was already down, I never lifted a finger to dig any record, to find fault, just to see him also going through the travails of litigation. Wala talaga. Dating siguro yung mga inyong papel, pero never, never. Wala akong kay kay Ninoy, kay ano, wala akong pakialam dyan. I never ordered anybody. Sinabi ko, it is not my habit. Kung gusto mo, ang style ko is abangan kita. Hindi ako nagyayabang. E ito mga taga-dabaw, si Kalida, pati si Alvarez. Abangan kita kung saan ka, tapos amunin kita ng barilan. And I will humiliate you in public. Yan ang sakit ko. Hindi ako, hindi, hindi ako nagyayabang. Yan talaga ang ano ko. Nananampal ako tapos hamunin kita ng barilan. Huwag na tayo magdaldal-daldal. Anong, anong gusto mo? Yan ang sakit ko. Kung babae, hindi ako pumapatol ng babae. Hindi ako sumasagot ng babae. Really, hindi ko sinasagot. Yan silang mga ano. Yan lang ko kasi hanggang dyan lang naman sila. I mean, for all of their uh, protestations and for all of their appearing to be dignified, hanggang dyan lang. And if you read the... the it's empty. Just to be there to be heard. That's all about it. For more than a century, history has witnessed the hard work and dedication of the lawyers, staff, and personnel of the OSG in fulfilling their mandate to represent and defend the government and its instrumentalities in all legal proceedings. In these past two years alone, our capable OSG team has shown their impressive legal acumen and skills in landmark cases that they have handled before the courts. May I tell you something? When I was uh, the prosecutor, I used to read pleadings. Ano yung, could be a position paper or it could be a pleading, a manifestation, or just a simple affidavit. But sabihin ko say one of the so many thousand lawyers that passed my, for the, Eight years that I was a trial prosecutor. Nabasa kong pinakamagandang pleading, alam mo kanino? Yung OSG ninyo. Mahusay magsulat yan. Meron yan siyang ginawang complaint. Kasi uh, seduction, pare. Oh, pare, si Lamata, Father Lamata. Hindi ko na tinatago yung mga yan kasi galit ako sa mga... Ayaw ko kung bakit yan sila galit sa akin. Pero galit talaga ako sa kanila. Pati yung... You can have the copy of uh, yung pare na pinatay, yung pare na kapatay. Yung pinatay niya yung babae, nabuntis, tapos the, the child is about one month already. Yung mga matrix nila, nilabas ko na. So, no more secrets na ano. Confidential kasi yan. And it is only for my eyes. And if you, ngayon binibigay, bigyan ko kayo. Mangandang paggawa. You know why? You know why ilabas ko? Kasi nakuha namin yung text sa uh, telepono. Pareha doon sa uh, 
complaint na ginawa ni Kalida. Kalida wrote the complaint against the priest. Started with the simple seduction yung mga ano. Tapos sinulat niya ng ano. Ang gandang pagkasulat. It was so erotic. <laughs> Coupled with the uh, legalist. Pero gumawa ng ano yan kung napakaganda. And the, yung feelings ng babae, tapos gano'n. So, pagbasa ko, sabi ko, it's either maano ka nitong basta yung nung bata pa tayo, di ba, yung may mga libro na ano, binabasa natin, wala pa noong ano, yung high school kami. Mayroon niya mga pabili niyan sa kanto-kanto mga booklet ng ganun. Sabi ko, sayang yun. Eh, eh, ipagawa na natin sa rekto, Joe. And another one is, uh, eh, nasa Dabao lang, si Fiscal Bendigo. I don't know if he's still connected with the government. I know, I do not know what of it. Yung dalawa yun ang taga-dabaw nakita ko. As in my experience as a, a trial lawyer and uh, an investigating fiscal, yung dalawa niya, no, ang husay talaga gumawa. I think the Supreme Court was convinced not of the... Bata, basta tingin ko bumilib lang kay Kalida yung, yung ano niya. Yung pleading mo, masyado kasi kung waran to, delikado rin ako kay pamatong. Hanggang dyan lang ako, I live my destiny. So hanggang dyan lang ako, hanggang dyan lang ako. Hindi masyado ako niyang oust-oust doon na. For, for all you know, I would, I would be happy to step down. Uh, in the, kung pabalikin mo ako, I really do not know. I would not want to, de, to betray also those who have kept faith in me. Pero gusto kong sabihin, kung yan lang, takot-takotin ako ng kaligaya, ako na lang. Uh, of great significance is our victory in the martial law cases wherein the OSG successfully defended the validity of the declaration of martial law to quell the rebellion in Marawi. Had it not been for the OSG's efforts, we would not have completely liberated Marawi from the clutches of fear and terror, and we would not have created a safe environment for its rehabilitation. Do you have time? Kayo, do you have time to listen? Basta gusto ko ninyo mabaka dadating sa inyo so that you'd understand. I'll, I'll give you the full dimension. Kumain na kayo. O hintayin ninyo ako, hindi pa rin ako kumain talaga. May ano lang ako, troke kayo. May, I have a bad troke. <clears throat> you know, ganito yan. China. China, okay. Is there anybody in this room? Who can tell me now in front of me, dito? I invite you, no kidding, and tell me that if I go to war with China today or tomorrow, we will win. Kasi pag sinabi mo manalo tayo, ihirit ako. Wala ng problema yan. But the problem is. Am I now willing to go to war para sa akin, which I cannot win? And if I start to make trouble there by just firing a few shots, it will grow into something big which might not really good for us. Alam mo ganito yan, the ISIS has long been in the Southeast Asia. 
the ISIS in the Middle East are losing, fast losing ground. Nakakukurner na ito. So yung lahat ng foreigners, especially those in the Malay race, kagayong mukha natin, Indonesia and Malaysia, meron yan silang mga tao doon. And you who are moro here, do not be offended. Pariho tayong roots. My mama is a mistisa maranao. So do not entertain any hurt there because we are on the same boat. Kaya lang ako may trabaho. And that is my country. They're starting to go out and their hope is to build caliphates dito sa friendly and Muslim countries. At dito sa Southeast Asia, they are looking at in this direction with misty eyes. Pati yung mga Arabo, hindi natin mapigilan, marami yan sila sa Mindanao. On the guys, I suppose, na mga missionaries. So if we allow the priest and nuns to come here as a sister fox, then why should not we allow the Islam missionaries? Because to discriminate is to violate the constitution, the freedom of religion. Yan ang nakaproblema dyan. Now, if they want to touch base and create a base in you, I'm sharing your national security concerns. Pag dito sila, they'll always look for a place which is uh, almost the communists would look for the masa. So it says water, they swim with the masa. Saan sila makahanap? Kahanap sila? Indonesia. Predominantly Muslims. Are they willing to destroy Indonesia? Of course not. Can they go to Malaysia? They can. But are they ready to create chaos and anarchy there? They will not. Mga Muslim karamihan magpatayan. Is it Brunei? Of course not. Then, where is? Kasi, ang ayaw ko dyan sa kanila, itong mga na, uh, it, ginagamit ang Islam, mga terorista, they say that we are going to kill all infidels. And what do you mean? Simply means the infidels are yung non Muslim. So where can you find a place suitable that there is enough Muslims around where they can mix and help them, maybe, and sympathize with them? San dito? Philippines. What is the most suitable place in the Philippines? It is Mindanao. Maraming Muslim doon, they can mix it up and uh, they can call a jihad and kill all Christians. I don't know if the ideology of idiocy is still there in the minds of the ISIS. Kasi kung nandyan pa, delikado talaga tayo. Delikado tayo. That's why I am arming the armed forces. Nakita mo naman doon. They kill pregnant women, they kill child, they burn uh, a captured pilot inside a cage and set him afire. Nakabrutal to eh. So now, there is China. What can I do about China? At this time, none. Aggression, impossible. It will be a massacre. Before I can 
launch a, a plane na tatargetin na yan. It's because talagang hindi natin kaya. We have to admit that we cannot launch a war with China. And for all of the talk, sabihin mo aggressive or whatever, nandyan kasama ko si Bebot, kasama ko si Mijaldia. Siya ano ka ba, Joe? China, yung first visit ko. Yung first visit ko, ang baraha ko, binitawan ko na kaagad. Nandyan man sila, buhay. Nandyan yung military. Hermogenes Esperon was there. Lorenzano was there. Sabi ko sa Chinese, I want to go to our territories, kasama na yan yung islands natin, and I will, that's my word, dig oil. It took uh, President Xi Jinping almost 10 minutes to uh, tinitimpla niya yung parang, na look, uh, Mayor, we just resumed our friendly ties. It, not, it, was not, it was not good uh, during the last uh, few years because he mentioned that yung Presidente natin noon medyo what was the word? Was uh, Marunong mag, ano eh, uh, precipitate, I don't know, but something like that. Ang sinabi ko, you know, you have to realize that my people expect me to get what's ours. Sabi niya, the problem, the president, is we are also claiming it. I said, but sabi ko, well, yeah, the arbitration says that that's ours. So we don't believe in it. Historically, this is ours. Could the whole of the ocean? You are claiming the whole of the ocean? Yes. So I am afraid, Mr. President, that uh, at one time we just have to talk about this peacefully. I mean, yeah, well, um, we can talk about it later on. So, yung mga deal nila ngayon na pinopropose, I don't know if it's legal or not. It's not business to find out what's legal, what is not. But he's proposing ngayon na papasok tayo, uh, we can cooperate with a private company of the Philippines and a private uh, tapos o mag-usap na lang. Sabi niya, we might give you a little add-on sa ating share. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki. Ang, ang ating usapan dyan ngayon. So, sabi ko, hindi ko naman nakuha ang, ano, why should I get just the water? Of what use would that be to me? Yung tubig na yan, sa taas, when the world is down in the bowels of the earth. This is yung ko sabi ko, let us continue to talk and maybe we'll decide, but uh, let us Maybe more or less uh, consult Congress and everybody if they are willing to do it. And if may magpile ng kaso, the better, so that we can have a clearer understanding and illegal uh, leg to stand on. So, ano ang mangyari? So, yan ang... Sumubra ako dyan. Yan kanila sabi, aggressive, aggressive. Ano, papel? Ako tayo kasi nabihan ko tayo, nandyan sila, buhay mo yun sila, tanongin. Sabi ko, kunin ko yung amin. Eh, pasupladuhan lang. Nambiruan ako dyan. Pero, alam ko, hindi ko talaga kaya. Ipapasubo ko lang itong bayan ko. Not good. Not good really to, to go to war now. The OSG has successfully represented the interests of the government and our people met fought for the indictment of a high-ranking government official who used their office to protect and cuddle big-time drug dealers. This victory validates this administration's commitment to completely rid our society of the drug menace by going after big-time syndicates and their powerful protection. Ako sinabi ko na, and you can quote me legally, 
When I was mayor, I said I would build a city that will be comfortable to you. But I'm warning those who are into drugs not to destroy our children because I will kill you. When I became president, I reiterated my declaration that this is my country. Do not destroy it because I will really kill you. Do not destroy our children because I will kill you. Period. Kung hindi naniwala, pasensya kayo. Sinabi ko na yan. Sinabi ko na yan. Tinawag ko ng lahat ng mayor ng Pilipinas. Three batches. Kasi marami. Sinabihan ko na talaga, you do not ever commit. Baka sabihin mo, inutil itong guberno. Sa aking guberno, hindi ito inutil. Talagang hiritan ko kayo. Then, the governors do not commit the mistake. Do not with drugs and destroy our children. Alam mo ang masakit sa akin. I'm not pretending to be rich or poor. That's irrelevant. Mine is just work, work, work. May pera man ako, anak mo na mayaman, ako ang mahirap. That's beside the point. Huwag na natin drama. May sweldo ako na malaki. So, ibig sabihin, may pera ako, kunti. Yung mga OFW. Ang pamilya, pag nawala yung tatay kasi magtrabaho sa labas, this family is dysfunctional already. Pag maglabas yung tatay pati nanay magtrabaho, iwan lang ang mga bata sa lolo-lola o sa mga kapitbahay o sa relatives nila. This family is lost. We have lost. Society have lost. It. Kasi nagpapadala ng pera ang nanay tinitiis niya ang degre degradation ng pagkataon. Kaya yung iba, because uh, they have lost the sense of dignity, muambak na lang, talo na lang doon diretso na sa committing society. Why? Because they are used almost every day. Maglinis yan sa amo niya, yung sa papel, Ay, bebo to, tanongin mo. Tapos maglinis siya ng bahay ng son-in-law niya. Pagkatapos niya, maglinis siya ng bahay doon sa compound, sa kapatid niya. Pagkatapos, mayroong nursery, linisin niya. Pagkatapos niya, rapin sila. And they get to sleep more than two, three hours ang pagkain nila. Masura. Kaya ako pumutok. I will just name no country. Nilabas ko talaga yung... Hindi ako yung nagtatago. And let the ministers talk. Wala akong pakialam ng mayor ako. Wala akong pakialam ngayon. Sabi niya, aus, aus, aus. Wala akong ambisyon na I, 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 don't, I don't even know why I won. Until that I solved the trader, bakit ako nanalo? So when ang military, kayo mga military, pati polis, o sabihin lang ninyo. Ayaw na ninyo, huwag tayo mag-away. Bakit mamaya ninyo ang presidential guard? Pwede puro, kasama ninyo mga sundalo yan. Sabihin lang ninyo, at sabi, uwi na ako. I will not allow my soldiers to fight among themselves. But after all, they are my soldiers. Ayan ninyo sa akin? Sino ang gusto ninyo? O oh, sige. Ba ba tayo mag-away? Ngayon yung mga newspaper na aust about time. 
tatad yun ang paborito niya. And to think that he was he read the Proclamation 1081. He has diabetes. Wala naman. No more. Eh, yung disappointment niya. All you have to do is madaliin natin na punta ka dito. Mapatay mo ako, iyo. There are just some of the important cases that were efficiently and effectively handled by the current OSD. The success of its legal team is indeed worthy of commendation even as we further strengthen our stance against corruption, terrorism, criminality, and illegal drugs. China. Bakit ko hinayaan China? Hindi ko naman makipag-away. Think, if there is a flown, full-blown war fighting in Mindanao, saan ako maghingi ng tulong? Amerika? You think the uh, men on the boats would come here? To fight? And lie you know, on, even the shipment. Sino makatulong sa atin sa armas well China ang pinakamalapit pag naubusan na ako ng bala naubusan na ako lahat dito ako sa China hindi ako pupunta ang Amerika ang Amerika noong nagbili ng ating armas dalawang senador nagsalita sa Congress nila cancel napaka ang ano ang Amerika na paka the, the president and uh, Congress seems to be in parity, not co-equal. They are really in parity of power because once magsalita yung ano, kaya okay, hindi we alam ko na nakita ko na. Yun. Marami tayong inventory sa armas, pero those are arms ang vintage niyan, Marcos era pa. Ang bors niya dinaanan ng bala, yung barrel, he lists na yan. Inside the barrel is a rifling, umiikot. Kaya paglabas ng bala, it has, own, it has its own momentum. Kaya straight talaga yan, tumatama. Hindi nadadala ng hangin yan kasi umiikot ng sarili niya. Wala na yan. So nag-order ako right after, 23,000 pieces for body police. Ang ginawa ng Amerika, alam nila, I don't know, alam nila ang pumutok, din nihinold nila. Ang Canada, nagbili ako ng attack helicopters. We will sell you the helicopters, but only for humanitarian and uh, rescue. Hindi ninyo pwede lagyan ng armas because you cannot kill you or use it to kill your own citizens. My citizens are participating in a war, joining in a conflict, ang NPA, puro Pilipino yan, puro pumapatay. Ang ISIS, puro pumapatay ng sundalo yan. Kaya kailangan ko ng armas, ganun ang isabi mo sa akin, anong sabihin ko? I buy helicopters, you cannot arm it because you cannot kill your own citizen. Sabi ko, yung armas ninyo dahan, di tanggalin ninyo kasi baka mabaril ninyo yung Canadian. Hindi niya alam ang Pilipinas. Tingnan mo ang Marawi kung hindi, if it was not arrested on time. Di nagkalat ang gulo ng Mindanao. Then, it's, pag sabi na you kill a Christian, kanya-kanya na yan. If you massacre me, I'll massacre you. I know better than you. You should know better than that. Ganon yan. So, sinong maganahan yan? That's why sabi ko, hayaan mo lang China. Hindi naman natin magira. We cannot retake it. I went to China to buy arms. Anong sabi ni Xi Jinping? Yung kumpruntas niya namin dyan sa China. Last ko siya. Do not buy it. I'll give it to you. 
He sent the arms. As a matter of fact, yung pumatay doon sa kay Hapilon, the rifle is made in, a sniper rifle made in China. Nandyan, display sa garle ng military. Helicopter, sabi ko mga Canadian, sabi ko, bili tayo itong airport, sabi na, uh, telling them to fast track it. I'm giving the Air Force until July. That has uh, pinakamatagal yung process ng Air Force. Eh. I'm giving you until July to produce that production document. I want the helicopters by the end of the year. May 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 gulo dito. Kakandakirap naman ako. That's a geopolitics actually. Naglalaro ako ng baraha dito. Wala mo rin akong magawa. Dito muna yung China. Pag year 4,000 ano an, tigas na tayo, invade natin yung China, kunin natin yung oil natin. By the time we istromo, wala na. Baski bunbon. Ano bang bunbon sa Tagalog? Sand, ano bang sand? Ah, bu- oh. Buhangin. Buhangin. Bunbon sa Bisaya. Kasi ito mga Tagalog hindi marunong mga Bisaya eh. Mag-aral kayo. As we celebrate this milestone and the agency's long and fruitful history, enjoy the men and women of the OSG to never waver in their commitment to contribute to nation building continue to be exemplars of incorruptible public service and all his work with excellence in upholding the rule of law. Alam mo, I don't know how you, how, you, how you assess me or look at me, pero yan ang hindi ko talaga masikmura yung corruption. Marami ng, even yung, yung travel na 21 times, that's corruption. Climate change sa Ontario, nandoon. Climate change sa Paris, nandoon. Climate change doon sa Japan, nandoon. Climate change sa New Zealand Conference, nandoon. Pag yung kasunod-sunod, pinupuit ng isa, nandiyan na naman yung bago. Walang nagbago doon sa travel nila. Sa... Pagkaganong ka. Totoo yan sila likwanan. 21 travels. Maniwala. Sabi nila, hindi nila gusto. Sabi nila, nag-resign sila. Of course. Pinaresign ko sila. You better tender your resignation. So always in public, I resigned before I was fired. My advice to you to resign was the dismissal order actually. Hindi ko, hindi ko ano nga. Wala ako dyan. I have my faults. I have my mistakes. Plenty. Ako? Mara. Pero for the years that I've served as 23 years as mayor, 40 years as a congressman, and 40 years as a vice mayor of my daughter, money was never an issue against me. Hindi ko. Hindi man ako ano... Ano lang magdating sa buhay ko, yun lang. I'm comfortable for you. Have, nakita mo ng bahay ninyo. I have a second wife. Isa lang ang anak namin. Ba't ako gagawa? Sabi, maliit bahay mo. Ano lang, Duterte, mayaman lang, maliit ng bahay, kunwari. Bakit ako magasto? Isa lang ang anak ko. Pag-asawa niya mag-alis. And why should I build a house and incur expense now na patanda na ako? Noon sana. Huwag ngayon. 73 years old, magsigi pa ako bayad, buang na. By the time I step down, I'll be 76. Di, libre. May girlfriend ako, dalawa. At tatlo pala, nadagdagan. 
Pag sabi ko nila, binano nila ako ng media, yung mga babae, totoo man. Boarding house, boarding house lang sila. Wala sila mga kundo-kundo dito. Lokal mo lang yung akin. Pero yung kwarto nila may sariling washroom. Bika nga pwede yung kumun, maglakad-lakad ka dyan ng kajaki. Yan ang buhay ko, yun ang totoo. Hindi anong masama noon. Wala na, mapakialam ang Solicitor General. Kasi siya nga, nagkaroon rin ng ano. <laughs> Belio. Pari naman kami na, nanganak kami, 60 years old. Mm-hmm. Yung, yung anak niya pati, napaka-edad. Yan, ang hiwalay mo lang sa asawa yan. May bago. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, without meaning to be bastos talaga. Sa totoo lang, ito mga tebang mo. Once I cease to function as a human being, sabihin ko talaga sa Diyos, Diyos, ako na ang magalit sa iyo kung buhayin mo pa ako. Pero yung torpe ko, hindi ikaw. My God is what I conceive to be God. And it is for, it's a mind, universal mind that is up there somewhere. And he and only can fathom bakit ganito ang buhay. Hindi yung God na marami dyan. Galit man sila kasi, sabi ko, yung last chapter, San Isidro, San Pablo, San, Santo Rodrigo, Santo... Sino yung mga yan? Tapos pagpista doon sa amin, lahat na baboy, pinataba, ihaw, kain. Tapos magluhod ako kalukuhan. Hindi mo din mo nga kilala sa painting lang tapos magluhod-luhod ka. I have only one God. Hindi ang God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Mawala ako niyan. Isa lang. Bakit maging God the Father, God the Son? Give me only one God. Hindi kasi galit ang, ay, ay yung mga tawag lang dogma. Dogma is, a church dogma is, whether it is fantastic or not, you have to believe it because of pure faith. Alam niyo kung bakit? Gusto niyo marinig? Ayaw niyo. Permiso ako. Gusto niyo marinig? Ayaw niyo? Ayaw niyo? O di huwag. So, yung launong panahon. O, di, tapos na tayo. Ay, di, pala, mayroon pa. Public service is indeed a difficult but rewarding task. Let me therefore consider it a privilege to have been given the chance to serve our people and protect the ideals that the, our country stands for. To the officials and staff of the OSG, know that you are in a unique position to enable our government to accomplish its mission of instilling genuine reforms in our society. Join me as we pursue this task in the next four years. As we celebrate the milestone, may you further strengthen your resolve to remain a pillar of good governance and defender of the people's government that gives primacy to the welfare of our nation and the progress of our country. Mayroon na itong ano, kinig kayo, sabi ko. Ako, Kalida, Bingbong, Teneo kami, Katekisem, Tapos turuan kami and God was subordinate 
was looking at the universe, the vast expanse of limitless and time and space. So he decided a real time. He created paradise. That paradise, obviously, is planet Earth. All the birds and the beasts and the only heart. And God was very happy. Then God, in his moments of introspection of his soul, walang purpose. Because there is no animal that has an intellect. So he created Adam. Yeah. Adam woke up. And Adam was looking around, and he saw Adam very lonely. So when Adam slept, God took one rib from him, rib cage, and created Eve. Kasi may babae na eh. Kung tayo lang sana, lalaki lang lahat, dumug-dumug lang tayo doon, away-away. Eh, pero may babae, and yet there was no malice. And so they were having a good time. But one day, God called the snake, yung cobra sa kodilera talaga yung... Medyo, pst, Kuha siya ng apple. Yung, yung ini-import natin sa China na malalaki. Ilagay niya sa bunga nga. Ah, oh. Go to Eve. Tempt her to eat. Take a bite at the apple. So ganoon ang snake. Nirarab niya sa katawan siguro ni Eve. Sarapan. Kinahain niya. When she took the bite and she felt earthly, may malis na eh. Tinitignan niya na si Adam. Doon na nang last. Adam, sayang man ito. Pinakain niya. Hmm, kain ka. Doon, malis was born. So they were shamed by God. They were cast away from paradise. Kasi gina na sila chok-chok eh. Kaya may malis naman. Ngayon, ang tanong ko, is that a fair God? If I were kami sa Ateneo, two years generation, two years below, Nandiyan yan sa inyong text. Hanapin ninyo, Harry Falbe. Harry, the name. Falbe is F-A-L-V-E-Y. Diyan sa internet, text mo. Tignan mo yung kaso niya. Pedophilia. Kami noon, first year, di ba first year, Ateneo, di ba Rick, Ateneo, mass communion yan. Di ba? Oo. Oh. Tawagin ka ng pare, come over. Tell me about your sins. Habang nagkukumpis ka, talagang pinabandol kami. Kami, lahat. Ang paborito niya, si Sunny Dominguez kay Tisoy. Ah, kulatado yan. Maraming kasalanan si Dominguez, matagal doon sa kwarto eh. Tapos paglabas, pula-pula na. Meron kami. Kaya pag alis ko sa Ateneo, expelled ako second year. Wala. Wala na ang tiwala niya. Kaya ganun ako magsalita. Para maintindihan niyo. Kami lahat. Maabot ang si Palbibong. Ah, wala, igo, tama-tama to, sigurado. 
kami, walang, walang nabot ng baspalbe. Kami, we were fundled while we were confessing. Yan ang totoo dyan. That's why, ganun lang ako magsalita. No, bakit is your ilo dyan? So yung God ko is the God, is the sum value, sum, the, the sum spiritual value of the values that I got from my parents. And in the process, yung lumalaki ako, nakikita ko yung the good things. Ayaw kong sabihin, baka sabihin ninyo, nagmayayabang ako. Ang tatay ko kasi, naging governor. There was only one Davao before. Wala yung Davao Norte, Davao Sur, Davao Oriental, Davao Occidental, Kumbal Valley, pati Davao City. It was Davao Province, ang capital Davao City. So nakita ko sa tatay ko yung paano niya i-mix yung simple justice sa So, ang philosophy ko in life is, I serve the people. I preserve the goodness of the people. My oath of office can be summed in two words. Nasabi kanina ni Joe Kalida. Mine is to protect the people and preserve the nation. Yan ang Diyos ko. Lahat na ano, ano, binabawi ko sa pagtulong sa kapwa ko tao. Yun yun, yung na umalis na ako sa Ateneo. Ang nat- nakikita ko kasi na tatay ko, wow. hindi man ninyo kilala yun. He was really there to serve the people. So ang serbisyo ko, yan ang pagserbo ko. Hindi ko man nakita yung Diyos na yan. I know that there's somebody there. Extraordinarily very good. Why he made this uh, planet Earth a little bit messy? By his terrorist killing. Madali kasi mag ano. Kaya na mga komunista. Bakit ito si Don ano? Tingnan mo. Tingnan mo kung kondominium niya. Bakit kayo nandyan? Nandyan lang kayo sa... Ayan, yan sa dagat, tabi, dito. Siyang seawall. Bakit kayo nagtitiis? Tingnan niyo yung mga mayaman. Yan ba ang, is that the society you want? Eh, ganun mag ano itong mga komunista. It just make it dramatic for uh, the people. No? So kaya tayo in the middle, we really do not know how, bakit rin ganun. We begin to question bakit itong God na ito unfair masyado. Yung ibang bata, mamatay na lang. Yung bata, ma-rape. Yung ibang bata, pag may bungog na patayin yung nanay, patayin yung bulag na nanay, yung daughter-in-law, yung 14 years old, pati patayin pa yung 1 year old. Pagka ganun ka, sinabi ko na sa inyo, I'm warning again everybody, Mayor ka, governor ka, general ka, huwag ninyo akong lukuhin. Talagang papatayin ko ba? Because you are destroying my country. Do not do it. It might be acceptable. Ang iba mag-surrender. Uh, Aleluya, wala tayong magawa. Ito, mga, ito, mga general, mga mayama. Habang presidente ako, wala ako. Talagang yayariin kita. Mine is to protect the people and preserve the nation. Maraming salamat po.